so let's let's create a little bit big something here and uh, let's see couple of scenarios so what i want to do is this is a very sim simple example that we use to explain the logic of flowchart here i'll use couple of activities that uh, already i have shown you to one extra activity so let's declare one variable i'll say random number now this time this i don't want as a string i want as an integer so i can change this so always you have to change this now my requirement is i want to generate a new random number every time between 0 to 100 okay how you will do that so we have an assigned activity see just now i am touching all this activity i am not going into town so i'll go one by one i'll explain all this activity so assign activity is used for two tasks assigning data from assigning data to variable and sometime to create objects also sometime to create an object also so i want to assign some value to the random variable now next what value so as i told you i can assign simply some variable that's that's well and good but we can use this for creating object also now tell me how to create an object so whenever you want to create an object you have to use new yes here my requirement is i want to generate a random number so everyone know that random number is a class you press control space you will get it and not only that i just don't want to create an object i want to get a random number between 0 to 100 three digit number so dot you can get all the functionality of the classes so this is a class so we know whenever there is a class i need to put this parenthesis dot i am telling next and in the next we have again the functionality for setting the maximum value or minimum value so i'll say i need between 0 to triple nine what this code will do you know whenever you run this random we will random will have a random number between 0 to 0 to how much triple nine now sometime for the testing purpose i want to see okay what is the random value so we have one more activity that is called right line activity this writes the value to your output this writes the value to your output okay i will simply say that give me the random number what it will do it will simply go and print the random number to your output this is all again for testing now when you are writing this this is a number and i want to write as a string see complete dot net is coming now what i need to do i need to simply say to string whenever you want to print something which is not a string you have to write simply to string it's a vv so no parenthesis nothing is required let's execute this <coughs> execution done now what happens you know after generating a random number it simply written the value to the output <coughs> got it uh, understand up to this understand uses of what is the use of this yes sir next now what i want to do i want to just play a, create a small game i will take a input from user between 0 to 999 and try to check try to check it is matching with the random number or not if it is matching i'll say success if it is not matching i will again say that okay it's, it's too big or too small okay 
understand the problem statement and this will continue till the time user is not getting successful by guessing the number okay so very quickly already you know what i will do i'll take a input from user and we have already done this i just want to show you that if you want to perform same thing in programming you need to write how much lines of code and here how easily i am able to do it so just i want to make your comfort level that how easy it is to create a workflow now i'll not talk i'll just write code it because it's pretty simple now in properties you need to store this yes so control k this is user number we generated a random number we generated a user number then everything one by one once you create this you need to attach it next thing what i need to do is now i need to test a condition so for testing condition in flow chart in flow chart we have flow decisions okay in testing condition you have flow decision and condition you have to write here okay so what what condition i want to check if user number is equal to single equal to not double equal to it is not c sharp it's vb if it is now what will happen after input the loop will come here next two thing is possible if it is equal then true if not then one more condition i told you numbers matched now i told you that okay if it is not matching what i want to perform is i want to tell the user it is too big or too small so again i'll have a flow decision in case of false it will come and same way i'll say what i will say that if user number is greater than user number is great sorry is greater than random number again what will happen two scenarios either true or false either true or false true means what i need to say the number is too big in case of the number is too small okay the number is too big the number is too small and what i can do i can simply go and where is that input dialog yes <coughs> excuse me i can simply get this and connect tell me if this kind of programming if i want to do it's going to take how much time got it guys how easy it is you must know the logic that's the reason i was talking about you must know the logic coding is very easy here designing is very easy here 
If you know the process, just you need to drag and drop the activity and do the task. Understand everyone? I'm not running this. It's on you guys to run this and test it. Okay? Because I know it is going to work. Please guys, any doubt, you can ask me. Whatever we get the output, we will again relate to input dialog box. Uh, no, what I am telling that the number you have guessed is not matching. So give me a new number. Oh, yeah. Again, okay, okay. Again, I need to enter. Okay, okay. yes. Yeah. And here, when when I am clicking on uh, when I am using input dialog box, mm -hmm. I am entering two variables. Right? It means uh, two. Uh, you are entering enter number and number. Yes, yes. It, by default, it will get two equal as okay. One is the heading, another is the message. Okay, okay. Okay, so if I'll say okay, it will say the number is too small. Then give me one more. Number is too small. Okay, so you need to just write the logic. It's okay, okay. I have just changes the logic message I think I have given wrong so let me check once again so you people debug this I'm just leaving on you guys I told you the number it should be the number both the places I have given two is more okay that's the problem okay got it yeah got it just yeah, no, no. it is going to be big okay fine so you yeah. test it run it and it's see the basic basic uh, logic behind showing this application is if you want to write this kind of program how much lines of coding you have to do but here how easy it is and it is in a loop okay yeah. guys uh, i think we need to stop here so because i have a request to finish this session up to 6 45 for a couple of days but yes uh, i i just crossed that five minutes extra uh, so tomorrow I'm going to show you more basics activities. See right now first I'll show you the activities, then I'll start creating the workflows. Okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah sure I'm sorry, but the thing you only I, I observed is whatever you are writing the methods, right? Yeah. So <laughs> these all things uh, uh, we need to means if I am uh, it's, uh, doing any new task. So, how I will know these all the methods are there? This is coming from all the .NET. So, that's the reason I'm telling yeah. you. Those who don't know the .NET, give, uh, tell me extra. I'll teach you that separately. Okay. Couple of classes okay. of C Sharp. See, I'm not going to teach VB.NET. I'm going to teach you C Sharp. But okay. it's going to be same. Yeah. In ah, no, no. The option I'm, uh, uh, means you are, for random, you select a new, uh, means random function, right? So mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> so this, is, this, is, this, this is this is this is a .NET class. Okay. Yeah, so, I understand. It's a .NET class. But the thing is, I'm uh, my problem is how I will know that this function is there or not. What is there in the .NET? Everything is there. <laughs> okay. That's the reason I'm telling. See, fun, one one yeah, thing. Yeah. I told you that one line of code we need to write. So you have seen I have written oh, one line yeah. of code. Second yes, thing yes, is, yes. you must have the knowledge of see, basic basics. Okay. Okay. okay, how to create an object, how to do the things. And here I'm telling you, frankly, we will not use more classes. Okay, very limited classes we are going to use. Maximum we will use a string function and list. List means collection. Okay, then fine, I got it. So that's the reason I'm telling you that when I'm telling what I will cover in the basics, I'll cover in all this C sharp things. You will see going further, I'm not going to use all these things. Just to show you a couple of examples I have used. So you can have a comfort level. If I know a .NET class, I can use here for creating an object. Okay. Understand? Uh, can you please share the video and uh, yeah, yeah i'll share the video have any document here. Thank i'll you. share the video i'll share the video yeah got it we can practice what i'll do i'll create a dropbox and i'll i'll place everything into the dropbox okay
Okay, sure. sure. Dropbox, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll use OneDrive. Anyone. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other doubt from anyone, you can ask. Fine then. Thank you.